Hello, hello, and welcome to another video where we will create something very useful but simple. We will do a navigation bar because all websites need one, right? So we will create ours with Next.js and Tailwind CSS. It will be fully responsive and also by clicking on any of the links, when you're on a larger screen, it will take you directly to the section. It will scroll the section, so we will see how we can do that. And also, when we are on mobile, uh, if we click on any of the links, the navigation will close and will go directly to the section that we just chose to. So the first thing we have to do, we have to go into the index.js file and just create our sections. So the first section, it will be the about section. Then we will have the blog section. We will have the contact section and we will have a project section. So if we scroll down, you will see we will have here four different sections. Now let's take a look and see how these sections, they have been structured. So the first thing we do have, we do have an ID. Uh, this will help us to actually scroll to the section when we click on the, the link. Um, and then we just added some basic styling really um, just for the purpose of this video and um, just to be easy to demonstrate um, the scrolling uh, when we click to a link. Um, and then we just added um, just plain text and this is exactly the same approach we followed for each section. If you see here we do have a blog um, and we do have um, ID contact and we do have ID project so all the IDs they are different for each section. Now let's take a look uh, at our navbar components. So we have created a components folder and inside there we do have the navbar component. Now the first thing we need to do here we just need to go and import the image from next image, the link from next link and the use state, just because we're gonna use all of them. Um, and we just need to add the use state um, for navbar and set it to false. The next thing we need to do, we just need to add our nav, uh, where we will set the width full, uh, the background black, uh, the position we want in fixed, top zero, left zero, right zero, and we, will, we want the Z index to be 10. The next thing we need to do, we just need to add a div uh, where we will have uh, some styling um, such as justify between, we're gonna add a padding X4, MX auto, uh, for the large screens, we want to set the maximum width to 7XL. Uh, for the medium screens, we want items center, uh, we want flex, and also we want some padding X8. The next thing we need to do here, we we'll just need to go and add, and, and add another div, uh, where inside there we will have the logo, and also we will add the button, the hamburger button, uh, which we'll use, we will use for the mobile. So we have the logo here, so when we, we use the link, just so when we click to the logo, uh, it will redirect us to the home page. And also we do have just an H2 um, just for the text. Um, and also we do have the hamburger button for the mobile. Now, let's see how we've done this. First of all, we need to set that div to hidden uh, if it's medium screen or larger. What that means? That means that if we are on mobile, this will be visible because that's when we want to display the button. But when this is on a larger screen, we want to hide it. Now we added the button here and inside the button, 
we have the on click and we set the set navbar to opposite of the current state so for example here we set it to false so when we click to the button we just want to set it to the opposite so if it's false we click once we set it to true we click again we set it to false and we added some styling um, as well um, on the button. We will have a look shortly. And the next thing that we did, it was actually to check if the navbar is true, then we want to display the close image. So for example, if the navbar is open, on mobile we want to show the x the close um, image otherwise we just want to show the normal image so let's take a look and see first of all actually we just need to go inside index and we just need to import here uh, the navbar and also to add it there and let's take a look and see if it's visible now or if we are missing something and there we go so if you see for example here and let's go back to the component let's minimize that a little bit so there we go so basically if you see here we do have if the navbar is true if the navbar is open then we want to show the close otherwise we just want to show the hamburger menu and this is what it means so currently the navbar is closed so we show the hamburger menu and when we open it of course we just need to add the functionality but when the navbar is open then it will show the other um, image now if you see here i have the source as hamburger menu for example dot svg and um, and i have set it to public uh, save it to public and i have the two svgs here so if you take a look it's just a simple svg file you can of course replace uh, the svg file with the file that you want um, and it's the same for the hamburger menu you know, i just want to use these two specific ones but feel free to use any svg that you might like um, and replace the existing ones um, okay, so if we go back to here now, so we have said, of course, we add some styling to the image, which you can do as well. Um, and we have set the height and then width to 30. Now, the next thing we need to do, we just need to go and add a div, which this div will actually hold all the links now let's just first add the links and we will take a look let me just do that there we go so all of them oh, they more or less the same the only thing that changes is actually the um the text for each link so let's just have a look at one of the links so first of all we added some padding we set the text size to extra large and uh, the text color to white the padding then we just said that when is medium screen or larger we just want to um, have um, padding x6 uh, we want the text to be in the center we've got some border um, and some more styling and here we just added when we hover uh, we just want to have um, the, the color to change to purple and when it's on medium screen or larger we just want to hover and have the text purple um, oh sorry here was the background purple uh, while when it's made more uh, larger screen we just want to have the text purple we'll have a look at this um, shortly um, and yes and when it's medium we just want to um, go back to a transparent background so basically what we did here we just did different styling for mobile and different styling for larger screens 
There are different approaches on that. I do really like this approach because you can just change the styling uh, for either mobile or larger screens just in one line really and have them all nicely together. Now here if we click on the link, uh, first of all the href uh, takes us to the section about. So if you remember here we had the id about um, so the href will take us to that section. You need to make sure that the text is exactly the same with the section with the ID section ID text. Otherwise, this won't work. Um, and then if we click, we just set the nav bar to close. So basically, let's just take a look on that and see what we've done. So here, for example, we open and we close the navbar. So if we click, for example, about or blocks, the navbar will close and we will just go directly to the section. Um, and then if we try, for example, projects again, the same, the navbar will close and we just go to the section. Of course, there are different approaches with that. For example, you can easily have the navbar appearing on top and then have the sections below. But personally, I do like this approach. I just find it a little bit more elegant where you just have the navbar uh, on mobile. When you click to open the navbar, you can actually see uh, only the navigation bar and then if you click any link it just hides the nav bar and you just go to the section. Of course there are different approaches and you can play around with it, it's up to you. Um, but this is the, the logic here, so basically each link we just customize the styling either for mobile and then for uh, how we want it on mobile and how we want it on um, larger screens um, and it's the same we repeating exactly the same for all the other links and this is basically the navigation bar uh, there isn't anything more than that and um, it happened previously um, I um, did navigation bar with um, navigation bar sorry um, with um, a lot more complicated approaches and I do really like this approach um, I just find it just compact um, as a solution and easily uh, adjustable um, so you can just go and adjust uh, directly um, the style that you want uh, for either um, mobile or larger screens um, just in one line and you can manipulate that specific element just then and there. Um, and yes, so this is the navigation bar and let's have a look as well, um, something that we haven't done, how it looks on larger screen. So on larger screen again, if we hover, it actually um, change the color to purple and then if we go to each section, it just takes us there uh, and then if we go to um, smaller screens it just shows us like that now if we just go and inspect it and have a look as well um, how it would look on any other device let's just go and check for example um, an iPad so an iPad it will just show as normal of course I don't have many links here um, so I just chose to show the links as normal if you have more links it would be maybe a lot better if you would just change the um, hide the links and just show the buttons instead um, and then let's have a look Again, sorry, this is iPad, and then this is the, the mobile. Let's just go and check this projects, and yeah, and that's it. It works um, just fine. Of course, this is a very basic solution. Um, you can just change the styling and just make it um, different, uh, just so it matches with um, your project. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any recommendations or any requests for any upcoming videos that you would like to see in this channel, please just leave a comment in the comment section below.